Hello viewers, today we are back with another amazing tech video of how it's made, the fire extinguishers. Most of the other elements of a fire extinguisher are made of metal. The pressure vessel is generally made of an aluminium alloy while the valve can easily be steel or plastic. Other components such as the actuating handle, safety pins and mounting bracket are typically made of steel. Manufacturing of the tank type or cylinder fire extinguisher requires several manufacturing operations to form the pressure vessel, load the chemical agent, machine the valve and add the hardware. Pressure vessels are formed from puck shaped disc block of special aluminium alloy. The puck is first impact extruded on a large press under great pressure. In impact extrusion, the aluminium block is put into a die and rammed at very high velocity with a metal tool. This tremendous energy liquefies the aluminium and causes it to flow into a cavity around the tool. The aluminium thus takes the form of an open-ended cylinder with considerably more volumes than the original puck. The necking process puts a dome on the open end of the cylinder by constricting the open end with another operation called spinning. Spinning generally rolls the metal together, increasing the wall thickness and reducing the diameter. After spinning, the threads are added. The vessel is hydrostatically tested, cleaned and coated with a powdered paint. The vessel is then baked in an oven where the paint is cured. Next, the extinguishing agent is added. If the vessel is stored pressure type, the vessel is then pressurized accordingly. If a gas cartridge is necessary to help expel the extinguishing agent, it is also inserted at this time. After the extinguishing element is added, the vessel is sealed and the valve is added. The valve consists of a machined body made of metal bar stock on a lathe or a plastic injected molded part on the economy variants. It must be leak free and it must have provenience. The final manufacturing operation is the assembly of the actuating handle, safety pins and the mounting bracket. These parts are actually cold formed, formed at low temperatures. Steel or steel metal forms purchased by the manufacturer from an outside vendor. Identification decals are also placed on the cylinder to identify the proper fire class rating as well as the suitability for the recharging. Many of the economy variants are for one time use only and cannot be refilled.